Hey guys, wanted to make this uh, video of uh, the leak that I found at the water heater um, right here at this at this valve. Um, this is the hot water heater bypass right here. Um, and what it does is it opens one side and closes the other by just turning this. All right, uh, but this is bypass mode and this is normal mode. So basically in normal mode, it allows water to come down, um, come in the main pipe here, come down and fill up at the cold side here. Um, and it fills up the water heater and you actually use the hot water heater. When you bypass this, the water comes in the main and basically shuts off this line and just comes right back out here so you don't actually use the water heater in, in uh, bypass mode. So anyways, it started leaking right here at this valve um, right just dripping just a uh, one drip per like two seconds um, when it was under pressure so uh, um, I'm replacing this valve and I'm gonna show you uh, what I made um, to replace this whole this whole unit here this piece is new this is the check valve for the hot side uh, this piece is new I just have this all kind of like mocked up so you can see what I'm gonna uh, do here so I'll show you uh, the new <clears throat> the new um, the new uh, uh, yeah, it's basically two valves and um, some PEX pipe and stuff like that. So I'll show you that here in two seconds. Okay, guys, this here is what I made, um, and this is going to uh, basically um, get rid of that bypass valve that was leaking. Um, and it's two separate valves: one valve here to um, turn off water to the uh, um, the water heater, and then this valve here to bypass. So basically, uh, this is all uh, half-inch PEX, P-E-X, and these are just half-inch uh, crimp pieces. And you can see that uh, that's what they are there. And this is the tool that you use. This here, this is the tool that you use um, to crimp the PEX, the PEX rings um, around the uh, pipe here. So anyways, this is just a, a, a few pieces of uh, PEX, some fittings, and this is all gonna adapt into that spot there where I had that valve, and I'm just getting it ready to do that right now. So uh, I'll show you in two seconds here uh, with it installed, all right? All right, guys, I got it all uh, hooked back up. So uh, here's what I have. Um, this is the uh, check valve, okay? What it does is it stops water from uh, going into the tank. So when it's pressurized from the bottom, water can only come back out, okay? So uh, down here on the very bottom, this will be the on off. In that position it's on, in that position it's off. This is the on off to allow water to go into the tank. So if you don't want water to go into your tank and you're not using your tank, you would just uh, turn that off, okay? Um, and the bypass, the way the bypass works is now you turn two, two of uh, these valves. You turn this one off and uh, for this one here, this one you also are going to have, uh, this one you're going to have on. That way, no water can go into the tank, but the water comes through the main and is, can come through and go back through the coach here. Okay? So, and then when you're using the water heater, you flip this one back into the on position, allowing water to go into the tank, and you turn this one off. What this does is it the the water goes in this main line here comes up through here uh it goes basically down through the pipes down the pipes here and into the water heater where it's heated and then it comes through the check valve into the coach okay so basically that's the setup there um that's that's basically these these don't leak um i have never had any problems with these type of valves those usually don't leak, so um, I, I imagine I, I won't have a problem um, like I did with uh, with this valve, and this is the original stock valve, um, and they, they usually just uh, leak right right out the handle side right there. They're just not sealed very well right out through here, and it just leaks through there. But uh, that's the setup there, um, and I uh, just wanted to kind of show you guys the water heater bypass um, that I have set up. So if you guys have any questions, uh, leave comments below and, and I'll address them. All right. You guys have a great day.